Welcome back guys to the Microsoft Excel tutorial series. So in this video we'll learn about some useful formulae in Microsoft Excel. So in Microsoft Excel we can do a lot of things with different formulae. So for example we can what we can do here um, we should actually arrange the data in proper order before we we'll just custom sort it and then I want the smallest to largest now it's again arranged properly so what I want is um, here there are marks of the students so I just want to put total marks here so I can select these cells and merge in center and then I can write to total marks in total marks of all the students so do I need to do that total marking or I can just calculate the percentage I mean yeah we can we can just practice it because it's um, just for learning so if I want to total all of these columns here what can I do I can just say so that's the first formula addition or sum yesterday we learned about this auto sum feature but um, today I'll tell you how to, to write it in the form of a formula so if we write equal sum this little um, drop down list will appear here and you can see that the sum formula is already here you can write it manually but why write manually when it gives you the automatic option so if you just double click this sum so now it is giving asking you to select the cells which you want to add if these are only a few cells like from f3 to f17 you can just click here and drag it and when you select everything just press enter so that will total it or the other the other way is like if you want to write manually is equal sum f3 for example you have to do like from f3 to f 995 so if you keep dragging with the mouse it will take quite some time so you can do that like if I want to sum from f3 to f995 or to f17 here I'll do at the moment what I'll do is just F3 and then colon and F17. So you can see the selection. Like here, it has selected, and then you close the bracket and press enter. And that's the total marks. So we can just put a, a good border around it. So these are the total marks. Now these are marks obtained out of how many marks like for example total marks are 200 and these we can see we can say obtain marks so if we want to calculate the percentage marks we can say percentage marks so percentage marks is obtain marks over, over total marks divided by and multiplied by hundred so um, let me delete this so we can what we can do is for example we want to calculate the percentage of every student So I'll just insert a new line here. Oops. Insert a new line. And then just I'll say, for example, I'll say here total marks 200. Make it a bit beautiful. And then 
I can calculate the percentages of individual students here and then I can calculate the total percentage of the class or average of the class so maybe average would be better for the whole class instead of percentage so percentage looks good on on any each of them so we'll just learn how to calculate these quantities so if I want to calculate the percentage here for example I say is equal sum and then in the bracket I can do whatever I want so what I actually want is I want to divide the obtained marks by total marks then multiply by 100 so I can do that very easily so the obtained marks is in F4 so if I write F4 and then divided by total marks total marks is written in F2 I can put F2 here or I can just write the total marks as 200 that doesn't matter much but if I uh, so I'll show you first I'll just put F3 sorry 2 and then multiplied by 100 so it is better if I oops if I divide them first and then multiply by 100 or I don't think it should matter a lot so now this is percentage for this this student I want to calculate the percentage of all of them but I don't want to write this formula again and again like hundred times so this is a beautiful feature that I can copy this formula all over the place so I just click on on here and you can see the formula written here and this is the formula bar and if I want to copy this formula below until here what I can do is you see that this um, this green dot on the right bottom corner of the the cell if you bring your mouse pointer over here you'll see this plus sign appearing and if you click and drag it then we will be copying the formula oops that's what I wanted to show you like what kind of problems can arise what is this this error the value error so what is it what is Excel doing actually is that it is it is changing the cell number from like we gave it F4 here so it will change it to F5 here F6 it is intelligent I mean it's not going to keep it F4 because if we're copying the formula down we're copying it for the different cells so it changed F3 to F4 but it also changed F2 to F3 here in this formula we don't want to change the total marks the total marks is the same for every student it's 200 so it, but it is changing it like F4, F5, you can see that it is changing the total marks as well. So that's a bit messy. What can we do that? So if we would have written 200 here instead of F2, that would have gone pretty easy. But I just wanted to show that we can keep, uh, so if we, but the problem with that is if we change the total marks, for example, we say, no, total marks is 180, then we have to go back to every formula and change it. But if we just keep the total marks in a cell and give this cell's reference to the formula and later on we just change this cell, we can change everything. So if we click on on the cell and then we edit the formula. So now we'll, we'll fix F2. Like we'll say that don't change F2, just change F4 to the next um, cells in each row. So what we can do is we can put a dollar sign between before F and a dollar sign before 2. So now F and 2 will be constant. The dollar sign represents that these values are not going to change anymore. So if we enter and then drag this formula all over the place. Now you see if you click in any of them F2 is still there but the next column is F7 this one. So now it is calculating the percentage of every student individually and then if we want to average get the average of the marks we can calculate it here like 
we say equal average AVER we write and then it gives us the average option we double click it and then simply select all the values all the students press enter so the average marks are 80 80 out of 200 that's the average mark and that's how we can also calculate the average percentage or anything else like this was a sum formula and then we can calculate other things like minimum and maximum so if we want to say for example what is the minimum marks and what are the maximum marks I'll just write down here so minimum marks and maximum marks so for the minimum marks I'll just say equal minimum min double click this select all the data it will give me minimum marks for the maximum equal max select the data it will give me maximum marks so that's how we calculate different values automatically in Microsoft Excel so this video is going to be a bit longer that's why we'll cover the rest of the formula in the next tutorial and we'll keep it um, here for this time and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial so bye bye